This is my 2015 Ram 1500 with a 5.7 Hemi in it, and uh, we're going to check to see. Uh, this is a cold start. If you want to call Arizona's 90 degree low a cold start, but uh, we'll show the Hemi tick here, and then I'm going to change the oil at some point here to a 5W30 from the 5W20 that I'm using. And I even see the new ones are using 0W20, which is like water. I think this is like water when I change it. But so here we go, here's the cold start. Yeah, hear that? And they went away right away. So that might be the exhaust. You hear a slight tick in there. It's not too bad. You can hear a little bit of ticking in there. This has got 51,500 miles. It started ticking on cold starts at around 20,000 miles. It's not too bad. Uh, some, some days when it's real cold out, it's, it's worse than this. But uh, So we'll see how that does after I change the oil. So I just changed the oil and uh, Listen how quiet that is. Wow, that's really quiet. I can't believe it. That's impressive. Wow, I'm not hearing all the clanking and clattering that was going on in there. I think that 5W20 is too light of an oil for this. And I just changed it, and it's like water. Every time I change it, I'm like, yeah, it's just like water. Wow, that's smooth and nice. That, that's good. Wow, I'm really happy with that. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well, we'll try that. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably change it again in six months before the summer. Um, I don't usually change my oil this time. I usually change it in February before the summer, but I wanted to try this out. Uh, I got this from that video called uh his channel is off rd uh so offrd off-road i'm assuming and uh he did a couple of videos on it and then did it his is a new ram 1500 with a hemi and his is zero w20 so he changed it to the 5w30 and it's actually sprinkling out here today i can't believe it this is friday the 28th um Wow, I can't believe how quiet that is. I'm not hearing all the clanking and it only sounds like it's rattling in there. All right, uh, well, that'll do it for the Hemi. I'm gonna try that. Here's some of the things I bring with me when we tow. I have this little container of grease that I grease the ball and the uh, weight distribution hitch with. I keep that in there. And then here's uh, one of those rubber covers that goes over the ball on the hitch when we unhitch so we don't walk into it with our knee and I carry various rags and uh, microfiber rags with me and then I always carry the air compressor I didn't used to bring this with me but I've been burned on it with low tires before and had to borrow somebody else's so I just bring that with me um, this is my toolbox and I, it is literally packed hose clamps and some zip ties and then on this side I've got uh, there's fuses in there razor blade plastic razor blade and then there's some washers or oh basically it's an o-ring rubber washer for the inside of your hose makes the seal but i've got all these wire connectors and fuses extra fuses electrical tape you know i i kind of believe in being prepared especially when you never know what's going to happen i got you know teflon tape for plumbing uh, half inch and half inch extenders for ratchets uh, torx wrench sets uh, allen wrenches and you wouldn't believe how many times i've had to use this stuff uh, our chairs were coming all on loose inside the rv so i had to use those allen wrenches a few times to tighten them up but all kinds of various adjustable wrenches pliers screwdrivers your normal stuff and then uh, underneath there i 
Uh, this this comes in handy, voltmeter, troubleshooting things. It's just a cheapy one. Opened in wrenches, metric and uh, SAE. Uh, gosh, socket, ratchet set, normal. And then here's my half inch drive and this comes in handy for changing tires, taking the lugs off the tires and stuff. Wire splicers, cutters, bigger wrenches, channel locks and vice grips. And there's another set of Allen wrenches down in the bottom down there. But I'll just show a little bit of what I bring. You know, you can never be too prepared. This is a little plumbing kit I put together to keep with me at all the time. And this tool here does the crimping for the PEX connections. Uh, got that off Amazon. And uh, this is a bag of hose clamps. You never know when you're just gonna need a hose clamp. And uh, this big bag here has all the plumbing stuff. I just kind of threw it in one bag. There's the crimping PEX connector. Uh, and I have all kinds of assortment of things in there, 90 degree bins. These are screw on ones here. And then one extra key locks for the trailer in case I need one. Uh, those go on the hot water heater. I changed it from plastic to the brass screw in uh, fittings on the hot water heater. Uh, just all kinds of extra stuff here. There's straight ones there if I have to splice into the pecs and Yeah, it's a wide variety um, This tool here is used to cut PVC or pecs gives it a nice straight cut. I got extra screws different lengths and uh, Yeah, some more screws here and then these are the springs with the tool to install the mud dauber protection on the hot water heater that keeps the bugs out of the hot water. I lost one, so I had bought this little kid. And then the rest of this stuff's for my inverter install um, and battery install. These are just hookups for wires to keep them out of the way, wire ties. And then I got these switches in case I need to put a cutoff switch on some of the 12 volt applications, heat shrink, and I got circuit breakers, and then the leftover Romex here from my wiring of the inverter prep. I just kind of threw all this in one container here. And then here's extra pecs I keep. I keep three feet of each, the red and the blue, in case I ever need it. I'm a believer in keeping extra stuff with me. So I think that's it for uh, my little plumbing supply kit that I carry. So this is going to close out this video, and uh, I'm uh, pretty happy with this oil change, and uh, we'll see how this goes in the future. But I'll give an up update if anything changes, and and we'll see how long this lasts. We'll do maybe some cold winter starts when it gets colder here in the winter. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy.